When you need to validate a model or view model in MVC3, there are several strategies and options available. Data annotations are one approach we will look at. Data annotations have been around in previous releases and include the attributes like required, string length, and range. When you use these attributes, you'll likely use them to drive validation both on the server during model binding and on the client using JavaScript. There have been improvements to the client-side validation story we'll be looking at closely. Something new in MVC3 is the ability to provide remote validation. Remote validation is essentially a client-side validation strategy that uses callbacks to your MVC3 application to invoke server-side code. Remote validation is easy to use and a fantastic solution to some tough validation scenarios. For example, if the validation logic requires a database query, it's not something you can easily do from JavaScript. The remote validation features will make this scenario easy. Finally, I'm also going to demonstrate self-validation in MVC3. Self-validation is when the view model object itself implements an interface and executes validation logic on a method call. Let's jump into a demonstration of these new features.